The case collapsed as the Attorney General's office failed to defend it and the group obtained a default judgment back in 2021. The nine men were each seeking $3.5 million in compensation, but High Court Master Martha Alexander decided on a slightly lower figure as she assessed the damages owed to them. The decision was largely based on the expert evidence of clinical psychologist Isolde Gen Garcia. Gen Garcia stated that all nine men suffered from post-traumatic stress disorder, depression, and anxiety from having to spend nine years on remand before they eventually went on trial in 2015. She also recommended individual treatment for each, which she estimated to cost $165,000. Master Alexander also considered that the men would have suffered damage to their reputations based on the high-profile nature of the crime they were accused of. They were teenagers or in their early 20s at the time of their arrest. In addition to the $2 million in general damages, Master Alexander also ordered $100,000 in exemplary damages for each to highlight the court's condemnation of the prison conditions that they endured. Only one of the men, Anthony Gloucester, will not be able to directly benefit from the legal victory as he was murdered in Digo Martin in October 2021.